All right, so in this video, I thought I'd go over my film photography journey with you. Topics I'll be covering in this video are things like what camera I started on, what film I used, where I'm at now, and what I recommend for you to start. So let's get into it. question I guess we answer is, why did I start shooting film? I noticed a lot of the images my friends were getting had this real authenticity about them that my digital camera just couldn't reproduce. So I thought I would pick one up to see if I could recreate the images my friends were making. This was my first camera. This is the Nikon FM. I got it back in 2016 and it has served me so well and it sounds so great. Just this camera is pretty entry level. It's all the basics that you need to get started with film photography. There's no fancy controls, and it's really up to you to create the best picture possible. Right now I have a 24 millimeter lens on it, mostly because the 50 millimeter I had on it, I dropped and it broke, so I had to find a replacement. But if you're just looking to get started, any SLR with a 50 millimeter lens will serve you just well. All right, now we get into what film do I start on? Shit, Fuji Superior. This is actually the first roll of film I ever shot. I never got it developed just because I know the images on here were probably absolute garbage. But seriously though, this film is probably really great. I don't know because I haven't got it developed, but it is very cheap. And if you're looking just to get started with something, I recommend it because chances are you're probably gonna make a lot of mistakes. Might as well go the cheapest option you can and save a couple bucks along the way. Okay, so what did I learn along the way? A, I was pretty bad technically at shooting photos meaning my exposure was always off by one or two stops in either direction i was really bad technically at shooting photos so this process actually slowed me down and maybe think about the photo i was taking before just aimlessly firing the camera when you have a digital camera you can really just fire as many frames as you want look at the back and see if you got the right one and just keep adjusting and adjusting until you finally get what you like with film you're literally spending money shooting every frame be fully present in what you're doing slow down, check your settings, and really make sure that the picture you're taking is the one you want. So how did I progress through this whole thing? Well, one thing I liked to do was I would take both my digital camera and my film camera with me, and I would actually shoot the shot that I wanted to shoot first on my digital camera to make sure my settings were good. One problem you can run into every now and then is that your film camera's light meter is actually off on the exposure that it gives you. Since a lot of these cameras are so old, over time, the electronics in them just kind of slowly start to break down. The light meter slowly becomes more inaccurate. If you notice that your images are constantly dark when you get them back, you could have a problem with your camera's light meter. So what you can do is actually overexpose your image, hoping that you actually in turn get a correct exposure on your images. But the one thing I would say is that you just keep practicing and practicing and practicing. Most people will not start off and shoot all 36 frames perfectly. I know I myself didn't, and even today, I still don't. One last thing I did was shoot with a friend. Everyone's eye is different, so what your friend might see might be completely different from what you see. So going with someone on photo walks and just hanging out and talking about photography, it's a great way to learn and train your eye, and you can always bounce ideas back and forth off of each other and ask, hey, why'd you do this or why'd you do that? And vice versa. You ask each other questions and you learn a lot more. So what do I shoot with now? Right now I shoot on the Mia 645 Super. This thing's an absolute beast. It's a medium format camera, so I do get less shots per roll, but the shots I get are so crisp, sharp, and have so much detail in them, it's ridiculous. Here's some photos from my Mamiya. Well, any camera you can really get your hands on is going to be fine. If you're just starting out, all that really matters is that the camera works and you're semi-interested, really. Check eBay, check Craigslist, check Facebook Marketplace. You can really find these cameras anywhere and they're really a dime a dozen. I don't think I spent more than 80 bucks on my first camera. So not a huge investment and I still have the camera today and I still use it. So. Then just run over to your local CVS, Walgreens, or whatever you have in your area and find the cheapest film you can. The point is just shoot, shoot, shoot. You'll get a lot better over time and eventually your photos are going to get that much better. And I guess that's it for this video. So if you want, you can like and subscribe. I don't really care. I don't really know if I'll ever make one of these again, but we'll see.
I don't know. But if I do, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Later.